Well, it's always in the last place you look now, isn't it? Of course it is. And when you find it, you don't keep on looking in other places, do you? So these people, well, they were lucky to find whatever it is they were looking for. In fact, some of them weren't even really looking for anything at all. From a nonsense treasure hunt complete with pirate gold and treasure chests to some of the most expensive insulation ever pulled out of a wall, here are 20 super lucky people who looked in the right place. Number 20. A Giant Chest with Treasure Ah, all those internet-y clicks. Some people just can't get enough of them. Here we have a family who spent their days hunting for treasure, not with metal detectors and optimism like many a weekend warrior. No, these people are YouTube treasure hunters, and they're looking to find the biggest hauls and make the most exciting videos. Just how legit this stuff is, well, that's up to you to decide. I could have a bit of a discussion about it in the comments down below, and I'm sure you all have plenty of things to say about this one. What we're told is that these people are following clues in order to chase down a treasure in a cross-country adventure. The children's expression when they uncover the treasure is absolutely priceless, and it does certainly look like a lot of fun. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Rare Copy of the Declaration of Independence Document Found Back in 2015, history buffs from Harvard made a discovery in a records office in England that would cause a ripple of excitement among scholars of American history. They had found a rare copy of the Declaration of Independence. But just how a document of such significance found its way to being all but lost in a dingy old corner of a British archive, well, that's a bit of a mystery and has had everyone standing around scratching their heads about it. It turns out that although many copies of the Declaration were made, very few were actually transcribed onto parchment, and this is the detail that had the Harvard researchers getting all worked up about everything. There is only one other parchment copy like this one, and that's the manuscript that sits in the National Archives in Washington, D.C., and is viewed by millions of visitors every year. So, this was apparently a rare, significant find. Now, this copy, although a pretty big deal, is not quite the same as the other important copy. The experts who have all poked and prodded the manuscript have discovered some major differences. There are spelling errors in the names of the parchment, and the signatures do appear to be in a different order. And what this all means will require require a bunch more analysis and such, but they believe that the document dates from the decade following the signing of the original. It's been dated to the 1780s, and within 10 years of the Declaration itself, during the period of upheaval that followed the American Revolution. The original document was signed in such a way to indicate the country was to be formed on the authority of the states, and this was a big debate during the period, whether the states or the people would be in power. What they thought was that this manuscript, which is known as the Sussex Declaration, was showing the rearranged names as an alternative argument, a symbolic demonstration that Americans were all one people rather than divided by states. What the discovery highlights is that in the era in which the manuscripts were created, it was a tumultuous and uncertain time, and as the Declaration was created, there were disagreements and alternatives brought forward for some time afterwards. It turns Turns out that differences of opinion in politics are nothing new. Number 18. Good Shepherd Ancient Gold Ring Found in a Roman Era Wreck in Mediterranean. Discovered in an ancient Roman shipwreck, this ring was amongst a huge haul of artifacts that were retrieved by the Israeli Antiquities Authority from an area which had been under Roman rule during the Empire and then part of the Mamluk Sultanate during medieval times. There was a whole host of discoveries to be made here, but the one which got archaeologists knickers in a twist was this small golden ring. Apparently this ring, although it doesn't really look like much, is actually one 
one of the earliest Christian symbols to have been discovered. The ring is made of gold and contains a green gemstone into which the figure of the Good Shepherd was carved. The motif shows a young shepherd boy carrying a sheep across his shoulders. This is a symbol which is believed to be an early reference to Jesus that was used by Christians in the Roman era before the emergence of organized Christianity. It's also believed that the ship upon which it was found had originally sailed from Italy before finding its way to the bottom of the Mediterranean Sea. Number 17. Remodeling this old house and found treasure, 14 karat gold diamond ring, and 1932 newspapers. While remodeling an old house in Wisconsin, one woman would come across a stash of stuff underneath the floorboards. The video itself is really just a long view of a woman using a crowbar to pull up the old wooden boards, but hey, perhaps you're into that sort of thing. I'm not going to shame you for it. So as she removes the planks, slowly one by one, the newspapers beneath are then revealed. Now call me old fashioned, but newspapers in an old house don't usually indicate that treasure is hidden there. But what do I know? It seems as though newspapers being widely available and cheap were often used to stuff up a drafty space, or perhaps as some kind of general insulation beneath the floor. However, this woman apparently found a 14 karat gold diamond ring in a crack in the floor, so she thought she was following a trail of greater riches. Well, she uncovered a whole bunch of newspapers from the year 1932 and not a whole lot else. It's interesting, but perhaps not exactly what you might call treasure. I just hope that she had planned to pull up that floor as part of her renovations. Number 16. The Lee Catalan II Hoard Metal detector enthusiasts do sometimes come across remarkable hidden hoards that is what drives them to keep going after all. They go out and stomp around in all those muddy fields in all kinds of weather, hunched and windswept, the promise of finding real life treasure just too tantalizing to miss. So if you add that to a story of a farmer's field which was rumored to have turned up silver coins, well, that was an excitement too far for these hobbyists. Back in the 1980s, two metal detecting guys by the name of Reg Mead and Richard Miles would encounter a woman who told them about her father's coin hoarding field on Jersey in the Channel Islands in the English Channel between the south coast of the United Kingdom and northern France. The pair were intrigued, of course, and they sought the farmer's permission to search the field. He would agree, but only for a super limited amount of time on a very specific date. There, they would be allowed to use their metal detectors in the field for 10 to 15 hours in the time immediately after the field's crops had been harvested. Flash forward 30 years and the pair were still searching the field, presumably under the same rigid instructions, and that takes some determination right there. Then in 2012, they would eventually strike it lucky, or just finally made their way to the right spot, and that's when they found some coins. This meant that it was now a site of interest for archaeologists who brought in a team that ultimately uncovered 68,000 coins, as well as the money they also dug up gold torques and glass beads. The Hall of Treasures believed to date from between 30 BC and 40 BC, when the French Celts were fleeing from a Roman invasion, and this is the biggest hoard of Celtic jewelry and coins that's ever been discovered. Number 15. Miner Becomes Millionaire After Finding Biggest Tanzanite Stones Here's one for all of you magpies and lovers of shiny things. In the year 2020, the largest ever Tanzanite stones to have ever been pulled from the earth were discovered by Tanzanian miners. The extremely rare gemstone is only found in Tanzania, hence the name of course, and therefore is also an extremely valuable one as well. The absolutely colossal rocks weighed a staggering 20.4 pounds and 11.3 pounds when they were pulled out of the mine in the northern Manyara region of the country. These blue-violet stones have been sold to the Tanzanian government for $3.3 million, but they're likely to reach truly extraordinary figures as they make their way through the world of jewels and gemstones. Now, just imagine the size of that pendant. It could sink a ship. Perhaps they could make a movie about a big blue necklace and an ocean-based tragedy. Who knows? The local small-scale miner and his team have said that they will be using the money they made from the 
the gems in order to support his community and they plan to build a school. This is at least a story where the locals may benefit from the natural resources in their region rather than the evil and deadly foreign mining industry again doing its worst. Tanzania now has some laws which have begun to change the way that mining can operate in the country, so there may be glimmers of a brighter future. Number 14. This man finds safe containing seven and a half million dollars inside storage unit he bought for 500. Now these days there are a whole lot of television shows about this kind of thing. People are able to earn a living by bidding on all the contents of storage units and that should tell you there's a whole heap of forgotten and abandoned stuff out there. And yes, some of it is apparently very valuable indeed. But just how a safe stuffed with cash winds up forgotten in a storage unit in Southern California, that's really the question. Maybe you have some ideas. I'm thinking that perhaps there was something the teensiest bit iffy about this money. It's hard to say, but you know, of course most legitimate people keep their hard-earned pennies in a safe inside of a lockup storage unit, so it's probably all just an honest mistake, right? Still though, it is the stuff of these storage war show's dreams. If only this had been part of an episode rather than just an accidental discovery by a surprised purchaser. It transpires that the original owner of the unit did discover that it had been sold and went about trying to get their funny money back again, and they wound up in legal proceedings where the cheap-ass owners tried to fob off the new ones with a mere $600,000. They politely declined and eventually settled for $1.2 million. The moral of the story here, keep better tabs on your huge bags of dirty cash. Oh, and also, if you have that much, you should probably pay your storage bill. Number 13. Forrest Fenn's Hidden Treasure Found by Medical Student Millionaire retired art dealer Forrest Fenn hid a stash of gold in the Rocky Mountains and published a cryptic poem called Thrill of the Chase in his autobiography, which was designed to lead explorers to set out in search of the treasure. It does sound like fun, but of course nothing involving a big wad of cash is ever without its controversy, now is it? This guy, a medical student from Michigan named Jonathan Jack Stiff, was one of those treasure hunters, and he found the buried gold which is allegedly worth between one and three million dollars. The thing is though, some people think that he might have cheated to find it. It is claimed that he hacked emails and texts so as to track down the treasure and that, frankly, is rather rude. Even in the cutthroat world of treasure hunting, they are pirates after all. Despite all of the allegations, Stiff claims that he never even used GPS or any modern technologies in order to locate the gold. It's a tricky thing, and no doubt that old rogue Finn knew that it would cause a proper kerfuffle, and that's probably exactly why he set it up in the first place. What do you think about it all? How far would you go to find a buried treasure? Is all really fair in loot and war? Number 12. Woman discovers four carat yellow diamond in Arkansas State Park. If you visit a place named Crater of Diamond State Park, you may anticipate that there is indeed treasure to be found within its boundaries, so the surprise of this California woman is, well, a little surprising. Whilst out poking around in the dirt in Crater of Diamond State Park in Murfreesboro, Arkansas, a woman named Noreen Redberg from Granite Bay, California just so happened to cross what she described as a clean and shiny rock. And apparently, she didn't even know that it was a diamond. Now seriously, you're looking for diamonds in a place known for its diamonds, but you don't know it's a diamond. Well anyways, she would take it to the Diamond Discovery Center within the park, where staff then identified it as a yellow diamond. In fact, it turned out that what she had discovered was actually four carats worth of yellow diamond, and given that this is a so-called public diamond mine, this clueless but super lucky person then went home with a very valuable Shiny rock. Kerching! Number 11. Three year old treasure hunter finds 4 million in the UK. 
This pint-sized treasure hunter took his new metal detector out for its maiden voyage and then returned home as a newly minted millionaire. Three-year-old James Hyatt was just out playing detective in the fields of Great Britain when his machine went beep, 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 beep. And he and his father then began to dig into the earth. Now, for the most amateur of metal detection enthusiasts, especially those in preschool, it sounds like it usually indicates perhaps a penny or an old rusty nail, something as thrilling as a horseshoe perhaps. But not for this child. No, James struck gold on his very first outing. Talk about beginner's luck. He had discovered a gold pendant, which was estimated to be around 500 years old, and it was examined by experts experts from the British Museum, where they said that the pendant was decorated with an engraved image of the Virgin Mary and the Five Wounds of Christ. This, they say, was one of the hallmarks of late medieval Christianity. The most remarkable thing, though, was that they also estimated that if it were to be sold, the treasure could command as much as four million dollars. Number 10. Farmer Found 600 Million Dollars Pablo Escobar, perhaps the most notorious and successful cocaine trafficker of all time, was known to hide great stashes of cash. That's the trouble with ill-gotten gains. All that dirty money's tricky to get clean, and it can lead to all sorts of nosy parkers poking around in your nefarious business. So sometimes the best thing for it is to just dig a hole and pop your bad money safely into the ground for a rainy day. And since Escobar had a whole giant heap of cash, he he also had a lot of places in which it was hidden. Escobar's long gone now, but some of his ill-gotten gains were discovered, and others, it turns out, were not. So when a Colombian farmer would be digging a trench on land that had been in his family for over two centuries, he got a huge surprise when he came across several big blue containers. Now, that's just weird enough, but what he found inside would blow his mind. $600 million in cash. The money's believed to be part of Escobar's $30 billion fortune. And the thing is, though, the farmer has to hand over the cash to the Colombian government so that they can spend it on social and economic programs. Likely as not, a herd of treasure hunters will have descended upon the region in hopes of digging up more of the lost Escobar cash. Number 9. California Couple Finds Rare U.S. Gold Coins in Backyard a few years back, a couple would be taking their usual walk on their property in Northern California when they happened upon an old tree growing in the side of the hill. On this occasion, they noticed that there was a rusty old can that was dangling from some branches, and that's when they went to have a closer look. They imagined that it was probably a marker of some kind, pondering somewhat creepily that it may have been a marked grave. Well, this can did in fact mark a site, but they didn't blunder upon on a load of dry bones, oh no. Nearby, there was a second can poking out of the ground, so they gave it a bit of a wiggle, as one would, and discovered that it was stuffed to the brim with 19th century gold coins. They then discovered that there were no fewer than seven more of these cans full of coins, dating all the way between 1847 and 1894. This buried treasure is believed to be the biggest haul ever discovered in the United States, although the face value of the coin sits at around $28,000. Coin nerds have estimated that the collection could eventually fetch more than 10 million when sold at auction. These homeowners must have been taken aback when they uncovered what's now known as the Saddle Ridge Hoard. It's a wonder that they can make heads or tails of it all. Number 8. Gold Mother Load Worth $15 Million Unearthed in Western Australia well, we have had so many once-in-a-lifetime discoveries already, how many more could there possibly be out there? Especially like this extra special shiny gold coin. Back in 2018, in the outback of Western Australia, underground miners dug up gold-encrusted rocks with specimens worth more than $15 million. The rocks they brought up from 500 meters below were quartz, but the huge chunks, one of which weighed 90 kilos and took three men to lift, were crammed with 2,300 ounces of gold. 
They reckon that this hall was all gathered from a spot that was only about 3 meters wide and 3 meters high, so they really were super lucky to be looking in exactly the right spot. Number 7. Rare Superman Comic Found in a House Wall Back in the day, it seems as though if you had something precious, then the place to put it was apparently inside the wall of your home. Safe as houses, right? Or perhaps it was just a convenient insulation material to stuff up a drafty old gap in a chilly house. In 2013, the discovery of such an item inside a wall in a Minnesota home would lead to a huge windfall for the seller. The earliest appearance of Superman, written by Jerry Siegel and illustrated by Joe Schuster, in the June 1938 comic book Action Comics No. 1 was considered such a treasure amongst fans that when it went to auction, online, the 75-year-old comic would fetch a staggering $175,000. That's for one single comic book. So it's not a bad haul for something that was found stuffed in a wall. And before you begin going around, prying off the panels and ripping up the floorboards, this is highly unusual, and you're more likely to happen upon a boring old bunch of scruffy tabloids, probably not even worth the paper that they're printed on. Number 6. Extraordinary Roman Mosaic and Villa Discovered Beneath Farmer's Field in Rutland A remarkable and unique ancient Roman mosaic would be uncovered beneath a farmer's field in Rutland in the United Kingdom, depicting scenes from Homer's The Iliad, and was one of the only very few ever discovered like this across the whole of Europe. It's considered to be amongst the most significant of mosaics ever unearthed in the whole of Britain. This is such an important archaeological site that the Department for Culture, Media, and Sport took the advice of Historic England and designated it a protected place. So that's a relief, because you know, you wouldn't want some vague government department to weigh in on such an important historical site. Anyways, this mosaic, which would be discovered by the landowner's son, was apparently part of a villa complex which also included a bunch of other structures and such, which was believed to belong to some rich individuals way back in the late Roman era. So now the site's been filled in again in order to preserve it for the future generations, and that makes it more fun for them to find when the hellscape of the post-apocalyptic future is getting people down, and they fancy a nice spot of archaeology to escape the torment of war and drought and famine. Oh, such fun. Number 5. 700-year-old Chinese vase expected to fetch at least $7.7 .7 million. Some stuff is really, really old, and what's more, it isn't even broken. That's kind of impressive when you consider just how long these ceramics have been hanging around, balanced precariously on plinths and such. I mean, how long does a bowl even last in your kitchen before it gets an unsightly chip in the rim? This particularly valuable pot is a 700-year-old Chinese vase from the Southern Song Dynasty, and apparently it's so super duper rare, on account of how tricky it would have been to produce back then, that it's worth absolutely silly money now. And as thrilling as all that is, the price tag is kind of off-putting, even if you do really like Chinese pots. The estimated value of such an item sits at over $7.7 .7 million just for one old vase. I mean, who's buying this stuff? And what on earth would you even really do with it? Number 4. Long Lost 13th Century Painting from Renaissance Artist Found in Woman's Kitchen now here's a fun one. I rather like the idea of an old French woman stirring pots of cassoulet and splattering sauce on this priceless piece of art. It just seems that accidentally having a long-lost Renaissance painting hanging nonchalantly on the wall above your cooker is more fun than it being stuck in a glass case in a boring old museum. But that may just be me. I can be a bit weird like that. The work is a 13th century painting by an artist named Sima Bu. The painting is titled Christ Mocked, and it's believed to have been part of a multiple paneled painting. Other parts of the work are at the Frick Gallery and another at the National Gallery in London. Art historians lost their minds when the discovery would be made, as they have a habit of doing when something long believed to be lost turns up out of the blue. The woman from northern France had her picture appraised and discovered that it had a value 
value of millions of dollars. No, excuse me, I'm just off to check the musty old pictures in my nan's downstairs bathroom. Number 3. Local Metal Detectorist Found Staffordshire Hoard The British Isles seem like they must positively jangle with all the loot buried beneath the ground over there. And back in 2009, a farmer by the name of Fred Johnson unearthed yet another shiny pile of lost treasure that made him a wealthy man overnight. When it was dug up in a Staffordshire field, the enormous hall was immediately dubbed the most significant Anglo-Saxon hoard ever found in Britain. It took a dedicated team of archaeologists months to painstakingly dig out, remove, and catalog the items. In the end, they would discover more than 14,000 individual pieces. The thing was, though, that the local council was concerned about the news of the treasure becoming public, so they set about putting a rumor of a search for a body following a made-up murder. Apparently, it was just better for people to think that there was a crazed axe man rampaging throughout the area rather than the press getting a hold of a story about Anglo-Saxon gold. Weird! Anyways, after a lengthy procedure and an oddball cover-up, the discovery eventually became common knowledge and after being officially declared treasure and valued at an estimated 3.2 million pounds, it then went on display in Birmingham, and apparently people were so very eager to peep at the ancient field junk that they waited in line for hours just to see it. Well, you know how much the British love to form an orderly queue. Number 2. Local treasure hunter helps family in western Massachusetts find hidden money. Sometimes there are family rumors that are just too tantalizing to let go, especially the kind that might involve finding a huge pile of cash, less so the ones about your great aunt Gertrude and the milkman. This family from Massachusetts were fortunate enough that their own family story was one of a secret hidden lockbox stuffed full of money, so before they sold their home, they decided that it was prudent to investigate the validity of this tale. They called in a man from Connecticut who advertised his services as a treasure hunter or finder of lost things, and then he set out to work. He followed the clue that the family had, that the box was hidden where sunlight from two perpendicular windows intersects. Now, this clue, which turned out to be a wild goose chase, could easily have led to all sorts of mad pulling up of floorboards and ripping apart of walls, but their treasure hunter simply used a metal detector and some common sense. Within an hour, he had narrowed the search to a corner of the attic, and he then used a teeny weeny camera which he poked between the cracks in the floor and discovered the box that everyone had been hoping for. Inside was $46,000, and given the age of the money, it was believed that it might actually be worth more than that after all. What are your family rumors? Could any of them turn into real life dollars? Number 1. The Masquerade Hair Found Ah yes, another daft treasure hunt set up as a publicity stunt. This time, a writer by the name of Kit Williams would set up a series of hundreds of clues in his children's fantasy story, Masquerade, which led readers to the secret location of an 18-karat gold pendant that was shaped like a hair. The so-called Golden Hair of Masquerade was actually discovered by a man whose pet dog led him to a stone, which was the location of a key clue. The 8-inch long jewel encrusted pendant was buried in a park in Amphill, a town in Bedfordshire in the United Kingdom, about 40 miles north of London. The thing is though, the guy that actually found the hair claims that he never even solved the final master clue from the story, but simply struck it lucky out on the hunt. It seems as though a treasure hunt for children should have probably been fairly straightforward though, now doesn't it? I wouldn't be going around boasting about how you didn't even solve it. Well, what a lot of lucky people we've seen today. Tell me, have you ever found any buried treasure? Or simply wound up looking in the exact right place at the right time and found something special? Let me know all about it in the comments down below. Also be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.